morning on uh, Perpetual Mobile. I want to continue about, um, <coughs> about quantum mechanics and how to modify quantum mechanics for quantum gravity. That uh, university thesis and, um, and make advertisement for students um, that they work as mathematicians and physicists uh, to uh, formulate the whole uh, theory of everything um, on the basis of my mathematics also. <coughs> okay. I have to explain all the fields in physics at once, but I tried. Okay, um, um, <clears throat> what I've done is I, I've taken the Heisenberg relation, um, where is the delta x and the delta p, this is, uh, for whom do I explain it? I explain it only for one person who does it, and not for the majority. Um, delta x and delta p, um, it is uh, larger than um, h bar. Um, half. So, and what I have done in the to, in the uh, modification of the quantum T theory is. This, uh, this is a um, location uncertainty and this is a momentum uncertainty. And I have um, um, have I yeah, and behind this uh, this values here are a lot of other complicated mathematics for the zero zero singularity, but it does not care for me. Imagine that there is this mathematics mathematics and it has to be um, connected with the mathematics of the hyperspace, and therefore I work to make these connections to the hyperspace. So, and then, and for the hyperspace, we need not a larger equal sign. Um, so I asked myself, what can we do to remove this sign here? Sign, and um, I did the following. I um, took the Heisenberg uncertainty relation I write it like this to distinguish it um, and filled it filled means uh, without squaring a value one can look onto my web page it means uh, the difference between the quantity of number and the quality of number and the filling of the number, what is inside, like a water glass. The empty water glass has a certain volume, but then you fill water inside, and then there is a this is another parameter, and then you have the filled glass of water. Three types of parameters. And then I take uh, the um, The, the space contraction of the of the special relativity theory times the momentum dilatation of the special relativity theory and come to um, and then this sign is lost here. And that makes H by 4P, 4 pi. H bar is H by 2 pi. And this is here H by 4 pi. So, um, then this, there's an equal sign, okay. And I found out that pi is uh, relative. Um, pi is uh, not is, is variable because of the following thing. Um, we have we have maybe a a circle.
And then, uh, you know, pi is circumference by diameter. So, and then, uh, this is clear, this we can measure. Uh, the zero zero singularity means our outer measurable world. We measure it the circumference and the diameter is always pi. But it de depends also on the on the size of the circle. If we get a cosmological uh, circles which are very large or very small circles, then this value deviate also for locations in the universe. If we are on the border of the universe or if we are in the middle of the, of the universe. This uh, happens by the following thing. Because the circle is for the ground structure this is the ground structure of the universe. Much more squares inside the whole singularity square. Um, this means that this circle is not absolutely a circle, it is made us this little stairs here. Oh. Oh. Uh, you can imagine it. And, and um, the elementary length here of this lattice, lambda g, is um, root of 10 times 10 to minus 26 meters. It equals uh, 1 by the analytical light velocity to the third. So you can see that this, if we uh, measure here in stairs, then this value here gets higher, and this value here, because here is no stair, because it's a line, stays the same. So pi, pi analytical uh, for is then um, a little bit higher, and this is the root of 10. And the root of 10 is uh, 3.166277. To, to While this uh, p experimental is, pi experimental is about 3.14927, I think. Okay. So, okay, here you can see that, um, that this is variable. Okay, variable, and, it, and here we see uh, this depends on the stairs. Um, you can say, you can see that this val value pi here depends um, quantum mechanically um, on uh, tau, which is a physical value, and p, which is an artificial, unnatural value, the probability. It's a, it's a help uh, value, a help tool, what I have explained in the last lecture. But what we can see here is that pi is variable. Um, pi but pi, um, okay, um, pi is um, the circle square, Nine minutes now. This here is the space here. This is this is a vertical axis is a four space dimension. It's in, it's uh, imaginary uh, vertically below because we have to interact with super strings with derivatives uh, which make real, real and imaginary numbers inter interacting with the uh, parity field here. Um, for the Hilbert space. Okay. Um, okay. What I wanted to explain is now that 
the Earth is um, in the middle of the cosmos. Here's the gravitational center, the, mid the midpoint. Sorry, the midpoint of the cosmos. Here we have a pi of uh, of uh, root of ten, and we are about here. The cosmos. That's, we, that's why we have a p experimental of about 3.14. This belongs also to the general relativity theory that that we have um, a lattice here, this lattice, and uh, this, the, the optical uh, curvature of the space means that we we look here to the circle. This lattice, and we have here um, we, we have to, to uh, write uh, squares inside, and again a circle. These are different modes. And this and the squares here are also turning here. And we, this is an aspect that we have an optical expansion of the universe. <coughs> this, is, this depends on the curvature that the pi is variable here. It depends on the location of the universe. But this this we will we will see later. Okay, well then we have one boundary over here and the other boundary here. This boundary is higher. If we go to the other edge of the universe here, to, the, to, to this uh, border, then pi is 1. So we have a pi range from 1 um, over uh, 3.14 to 3.16 about. So this is why this makes this value already um, um, variable in time direction. You know, Einstein has also spoken about time direction and space direction. We will see in the general relativity. So, in space direction, these values are much higher. Then we will see that we have here values. Um, which are uh, high exponents. What I still want to explain is that um, by thereby that this value gets lower, the whole expression gets higher here. Thereby this whole expression gets higher. This means this is the scaling of the special relativity theory and the uncertainty uh, theory between uh, small values and high values of energy. And this depends, and here <coughs> the values are getting higher here. Um, then we can, um, we must always come on a force, a gauge, gauge on a force. Um, this force is Fu. And this belongs to the formula of everything E by lambda, that we come on um, the number. 10 to 10 times 10 to 25 newton the universal force and this this expression here must always be the universal force and I will explain it in the next video that therefore we have to multiply these expressions by entropies and that the entropies uh, which uh, to, to come on force because this is here uh, angular momentum this filling means uh, angular momentum times angular momentum is angular momentum here. This is angular momentum and this is dimensionless. We will see um, at least this is also angular momentum, but this is here also a filling, filling then by the division. But we have to um, uh, multiply something to come on force. So these are the both entropies. I will explain at the next lecture. Bye.